why do I keep getting these awards? You're reeling them in. What what did I reel in? Anyway, hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And it's a free card day here. Probably over here. Sale for free. The Declasse Tahoma Coupe. Give it to me. We'll go take it in blue. It's, you know, I don't know where we're going with this one just yet. We're going to buy it. We're going to put it here in the agency. Making sure we get this one. Mm, should be coming relatively quickly. There. Man, what, somebody's texting me. Why do I... They start recording and then there's texts. And it is... What the, 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 oh, K's Italian Restaurant. Okay. Well, yeah, they're, that's some excellent stuff. Well, it's just there, too. Um, as far as the other wheels here that are available, we're going to have to go through the missions and get these trade prices. Holding off on the Declasse Tulip M100 until I find out if it's like the other Tulip. If it's a complete, you know, annoying thing here. We'll have to see about it. Right now we're going to focus on the Tahomaku. Free for just a couple days. That's where our focus is. Let's get down the garage. By the time we get there, car should be there. Let's rev this puppy up. Garage. Up there it is. There's a car down there, and we're gonna drive it round. And it did it, did it, did it, did it, did Freebies. You gotta love freebies. All right. Oh, good. Everything's all right. Bring downstairs. Still have to build up that Reinhardt too at some point. But we got it. We got it on sale, and here it is. Rather fetching, rather nicely sculpted car. There's a lot of detail in this. So I don't know. Do we want to do this as a classically rendered cruiser? Or do we want to make it like another NASCAR kind of thing? Let's see. Armor, obviously we need. Brakes, yes. Bumpers. Front bumper. You can chrome the whole thing. It's a stock bumper. You get more detail out of the stock bumper with the chrome accent, don't you? This gives it kind of a little bit more age to it. Let's let's leave that as it is. Black bumper. Now it's like, you know, trying to get legalized for the 90s or something. Now we're going to kind of... Rear bumpers, same kind of thing. See, a, real, a true chrome bumper wouldn't be flush like this. That doesn't... Oh, there's a Chrome Classic bumper. No. Okay, the, the stock bumpers are best, I think. Rev up the engine. Exhaust. Stock exhaust. Well, obviously, you know, at least it's a stock dual. Race exhaust. Big bore slash cut. Chrome side exhaust. Titanium sides. <laughs> Breathing out your nose. Okay, well, that's just... Um, I think I'm going chrome side exits. That's kind of cool. Hood. Stock hood. Secondary hood. High cowl induction. And you got blowers. The triple intake bug catcher. I don't know if this thing is going to warrant the look of that. Is it going to be that powerful? Let's hold off on that. We'll, we'll keep it styling for right now. Neon kits. You need one. Neon layout. Front, back, sides. We may change the color later on. Uh, livery. Okay, black stripes. Well, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. You got your black stripes. The white stripes. The red vines. Well, that's kind of as he goes with the goes with the flow of the fenders. That is kind of nice. Color vines. America. That's it says Patriot. Actually, I don't know. Is that really America? Kind of. It's a something. Flames. It's nice to see the flames returning again. Maybe with black. Do a black on. 
You have to, to kind of a Benny sort of look there. Yeah, these are your low riders. If we could, I don't think you can low ride it. So, retro vibes, or retro vibes too. I do like that. Can we work with this? Is this like retro vibes too the way to go, or do we want to go with more just the the color vines and keep it simple? Well, just to go with the flow of the. Uh, see if you do it this way, then you know these kind of blend in a little bit more the the side mirrors. All right, looks like we're going a more classy build here. Which means we'll probably go for a, a more oh mirrors. Okay, so we have secondary mirror. Eh. I guess we could have picked the secondary black, and then they would have matched them in. But nah, I like the stock ones. The plate sixty-eight Suggo eighty-one. I don't know Suggo. Suggo seems like a good primary color. What are we gonna do with you? A metallic. It's the A-Team! Dun, 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 dun! I still don't picture the A-Team as silver on top, but that's what they tell me it is nowadays. <laughs> that, is, that is the actual, you know, kind of paint scheme there. That's the silvers do go well with it. But, you know, I don't like this transition here now. That's kind of harsh. Be nice if this if this livery kind of flowed around the bumper. Hmm. Now, oh, well, we're gonna live with it for right now. Gold steel, stone silver. This almost looks like the the color scheme from the uh, the Indy pace car, the, the Corvette pace car stuff from the the, the late '80s. So, the stone silver that might be a something we consider. The reds, you know. Too much. No, no, no. A lot of stuff not working here. The bronze kind of works. Do yellow. That's just harsh. I feel like we need some earth tones with this. Like that, not, none of the colors are working for me. Nautical blue, something a little less saturated. Okay, we're into the browns now. Bleached brown. Like a shaft of purple, does that work? That kind of does work. I'm not sure it's what I'm going for here, though. With the right wheel combination, that could work. Bright purple. Cream. Yeah, if we're going to do cream and white, though, I think the silver looks better, don't you? There is something about either bluish silver or stone silver. Black steel, anthracite, yeah, I think we're doing an A-team build here, I really do. Graphite, can we give it a, a, a brighter pearlescent maybe, ooh, we can, well now you could get a little bit, a little bit crazier. If we go with a grace red. Not exactly the say it with pearlescent. A lot more options. Diamond blue. Diamond blue gives it a little bit of coolness. 
Okay, let's hold on. Hold that thought for Diamond Blue. That's. Yeah, I'm going with the ice white. That looks nice. Secondary color, I don't know that it matters because it's not really. Sir, we don't have anything on it that's surf blue. But let's just. Let's just make it graphite just for the heck of it. Just have something assigned. Trim color. This would have a black interior, I think. The graphite's probably we'll could probably leave that as it is. That looks like it fits. Roof. Small roof. Roof rack. Eh. We're not going for a family build. This is this is more an executive build. Sunroof. Secondary. Alright, we have to kind of give this a secondary just so we can see what the heck secondary color with how the, what the what would that look like? Something different so it's noticeable. Okay. But then you go out of here. Roof. Secondary roof. Sunroof. Secondary sunroof. Okay. I see where they're going with that. And, you know, that was kind of a thing. That separation there. It does, it does highlight that. Do I want that? Do I want to go with secondary batch on the red line? Or do we just keep... We always have the option. I think I'm going to leave it just there. I think we'll go with the sunroof, though. There's stock. Let's go with the sunroof. We'll fancy it up. It'll probably leak later, but... Splitters! No, no, no. That's... No. That's just, it's just gonna scrape all over the place. We're not going for the NASCAR build on this. Suspension! Well, I hope we don't have to slam this to get the proper handling on it. We'll have to hear that from... from Bruffy, because that's just heinous. Just, just lower it. I hardly ever do this, the first one down, but we'll do that for right now. I don't know if this is going to be a racer anyway. It may be. Wheel type. Those do look good. But you know what I'm thinking. Get some chrome rims on this. Classic 5. You know, they also actually look a little bit too small. Look at that. Like, those are the ones I was thinking of, but they don't, they don't fill the wheel well as well as the stock ones. If I go tuners, yeah, it's, it's like the tires get a little bit, it's like you lose a wheel size there. Look at that. All right, we'll keep them stock. Tire enhancements, bulletproofs. So we can think of something we want to do there. I mean, I really... Did want something else here. I mean, those were the ones I was thinking of. Remind me of the ones I used to have on my Grand Prix. Which, I almost did a Grand Prix build with this, but it's a little bit too curvaceous for compared to the one that I had. So if you're going to go, go big here. Yeah, you know, let's not worry about this, the, the wheel side. That looks, that's, the, we'll put the muscle freaks on. And if we're going to do, we'll put the drag radial thing on them now. 
Windows, light smoke. Just smoky enough so the police can't complain, right? That is. That's a build. You know what? I think we're going to do one more thing. It's one thing with the plates. You get yellow on blue like the old Pennsylvania plates. From the era. At least when I used to drive cars of this era. Now we'll exit. But just in case you're looking for me, I gotta go tell some folks what's what. Yeah, I've been waiting for something like this to happen since Trevor took off. Vultures showing up in Sandy Shores looking for scraps. Don't worry though, Ron's got it all under control. Unless, you know, you wanted to help. Backup would be nice. They've taken over Trevor's old place at Ace Liquor. That was interesting. I couldn't pop the wheelie while he was on the phone. I really need to get a controller so I can do more... more controlled wheelies. Alright. Straight line. Let's see. How does it do? All right, this doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, it handles like a muscle car, but not horrible. It doesn't spin out of control here when you're peeling out. Let's see. Oh, I'm digging this. Digging it, digging it. Now this, I, I like this build. I don't know if it's going to be a race car. We got to really kind of see if if Ruffy comes out and says this is the new Top Gun muscle car. I'm, I'm guessing not. I don't think this has got Buffalo STX speed. But it's nice to drive. And it was free, but for the upgrades. It's a funny thing, because you look at managing expectations. This was free. I did some upgrades to it. It looks awesome. Feel smooth to drive, good enough. This was over two million dollars. Doesn't feel fast enough to me. Does look okay, but you know, so it's it's an interesting thing how you set your expectation. If this is a Monte Carlo from like you know the eighties or whatever. I'm I'm not expecting it to go ridiculous speeds, but it, it feels good. It's not slow. I don't think it's a slow car. It's probably slower than this one, but again, there's. We'll have to see. We'll have to see when the when Ruffy thirteen twenty two gives us the word. So there is something we have to do, of course, as we always do. Which I'm still wondering if this works. If this is like you know jobs play, well, not report job play job, my jobs races. Will it climb Chilia? That'll be an interesting measure. Not a real qualitative, you know, measurable measure because it, so much of that is just how much I screw it up. Muscle, time of day, noon, bright, we'll leave some traffic on, go. Something else happened. Probably another customer. It's 
that one's honking. Oh, there it is. Oh, I was going to say, where are you? This is, it's, it's the proper thing it should be. It's like you took, took one of these factory stripe package hot rodded. You got a top of the line Monte Carlo and you put some custom exhaust on it. It bounced early. That happened to me last time. Apparently I'm just getting worse at driving this. That's just a thing. And you screw that up, then there's the train. There we go. We got a good kick there. That was better. Okay, we beat the train. We're going to try. All right, that bodes well. We'll ride the rails here, and now can it climb a hill? Oh, wait. Okay, to mute out a tantrum. But you're going to have this. The only time I have perfect wise is if I'm recording with everyone's asleep. But yeah, we just we work with it. Okay, here we are. Going up Shiliad. Ooh. Doesn't like the bushes. Look at that. It is sensitive to the bush. Oh, this is not boating well. Come on, baby. Drop a gear or something. Let's go. Okay, we're picking up some more momentum. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. That point when you realize that it doesn't have a spoiler option and that your traction might not be the best. Yes, I know this is the wrong way. Okay, if we could just... Work our way horizontally. It's right there, it's so close. We need to try and maintain our, you know, our, our altitude here. Come on, that's gonna go. We're gonna go flying down the, the countryside here in a minute. Oh dear, it tried. I'm still pressing forward. We're down. So, it, uh, it can't do the hot lap. I think we can safely say the hot lap route or any kind of hill this is not the car for that. You know, Okay, we're still going to get up, obviously. Where there's a will, there's a way, and there's always a, a trail someplace. We may have to go all the way back down. I don't know if this can get across. It is not happy. So we get to go back down. Sometimes you have to recognize the reality of the situation. Then you drive into a tree. 
and then we fall down into another tree. And then we go into a gully. And then we're just completely... Eh, train. No, we don't want to go... We want to go next to... Across the train tracks. We're not just turning around. We're gonna get to the top here. It doesn't even like this bit. Not lots of traction. But. You get a little bit of a trail and then you get, you know, it's a whole different bunch of math. The way the game works it all out. So, we work our way up. No, I still don't know what they're now calling the Goldilocks route. I guess it's supposed to be easier than the Hot Lap, but quicker than the OG. Something along those lines. This is always tough. Right there, because if you don't line it up perfectly... You, can, you don't want to go flying off the trail. Come on. See, it's, it's cutting that little bit of disaster. Okay, come on. Come on. I gotta be able to get a big old boat like this up this hill. It's gotta happen. Ah! Oh, I almost had. I was using the mechanic of the game here to try to just get it goosed up there, and we're so close. See, it's like it's hitting a rock there, and it's lifting it up. Okay, we gotta get down a little bit. Not down that far, though. Make a run. Yeet! Okay, back to this. Enough momentum, come on. Come on! Well, there's, where there's a will, there's a way, usually. You know? Unless the card really just can't do it. But this this time, I think we're gonna. Oh, clearly a muscle car. Clearly built to do the muscular things, but not necessarily the handling things. Oh, dear. Get fully back on the path. The long overhangs are not helping us here. I this I did not expect this part to be a problem. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. Did not launch it. Over the side, okay. Like I'm trying to drive it as fast as I can to maintain momentum over the things where it really can't climb, but then you end up bouncing it off of stuff. And potentially over edges where you don't want to go. Come on. We're so close. It, it has, you know, having having driven a lot, put a, uh, driven a 78 Grand Prix for a lot of years, back in the day, as well as an 81 Regal and cars of that ilk, I can tell you this, ha this has the right feel. It's that little bit bouncy floaty over this kind of stuff. I mean, not that I ever drove it up a mountain, but... This could be problematic. No, it's not. Look at that. It did it. It did it. Now, now, how the heck did it even do that? It struggled the whole way up here. And yet it could climb to the top up the sheer cliff face there. Now. Now we're hooked. On that big old bumper. Okay, I'm back down. Go down the hill. Down the hill here. We do this very carefully. Try to find the right path. No, not the bouncy bounce. Not the, not the wheezy wet. No, 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 no. Okay, well, hold on. That's not a bad. This is kind of where we want to go. Go for the full yeet. Okay, we're not quite the right direction, but maybe with a full yeet. Ouch. Ouchies. Okay, we still, we made it down. A little bit to the right of where I was going, but hey, this works. Now you get to do more normal car things. Train! Now we got that over with. So it can get up to you, but you don't want to try and hot lap it. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work out well. Not that you'll ever see this in traffic, fully loaded. It's not. It doesn't really make any kind of sense to try that. But it's a, it's a good test of you know what can the car do. In my mind, without actually doing anything scientific. I'll leave the science to Bruffy. I used to just run Sonora Freeway, but this... I need to give you something quality, qualitative there. You can see, you know, compare the numbers. I think there was a, a track I could repeat pretty consistently, but we're not, we're not going to go there today. It's just going to be... YEET! You're yeeting. Give you a good view of the underside. And some more off-roading. And we're off to the side again. Okay, so this isn't good. Let's get up on the on the ridge here. Here you go. And over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Let's do this. Okay, can't do the jump. 
You know, the the bush kind of tossed it a little bit first. It doesn't like bush, or it likes it too much. One of the two. It's very sensitive to bush. You know, the bush and see, it's like, whoosh, see? It says, whoa! But apparently the rocks. And you're gonna go for the bush, be careful you don't end up on the rocks. That's all I'm saying. I mean, see that? It just, it, it, it disturbs the car when you go through the, the foliage. Is that a new thing that's happening to all the cars, or is that like... Just this one? I don't know. I'm not aware. Okay, so we're almost there. He's fine. See, if you can get up and run away, you're fine. Just a little bit, maybe an internal injury or something like that. Took a little while to do. It's good looking, though. I do like it. I love the look of that car. Obviously, we're going to go get one on my main character, but I'm, I'm going to hold off on the build for that right now because I want to do that one as an homage to a Monte Carlo that my brother-in-law had back in the day. It'll be another gray car. More blue. I have to get pictures of it. So I'm going to get it, but probably not on camera. We're just going to leave you here with this beautiful thing. And then when I do the build on that one, that'll be a separate deal. I won't necessarily drive it up the hill because we've already done that. But, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.